This is a hexadecimal display powered by the Raspberry Pi Pico W and illuminated using NeoPixel LEDs. I made it as a follow up to my binary clock which uses 8 binary bits to show the time. This display has many functions but I made it primarily to help demonstrate what actually happens when counting in different number bases. It's currently set to base 16 or hexadecimal which uses the first 10 digits of the decimal system 0 to 9 but with 6 further digits A to F. Each column represents a power of 16. The column on the right represents the 1's place, the next is the 16's place and then the 256th place with each column being worth 16 times more than the last. So as it is at the moment it takes 16 seconds before running out of space in the first column then just over four and a quarter minutes before needing the third column. If you're planning to wait around until the timer finishes, you'll be waiting for over 16 million seconds or about six months. Six months later. Like the binary clock, the construction is made of artboard or mountboard cut with the Cricut cutting machine. Underneath the top layer are letters cut out of paper and then I used luchador fabric to help diffuse the light. The RGB LEDs are programmed with Python and controlled by the Raspberry Pi Pico W which is a cheap but mighty Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. I laid a total of 96 LEDs in strips of 16 on the front for each of the columns. There are a further 40 LEDs on the back which illuminate the wall or the surface it is placed against. I've shared the code for this project on GitHub and you can read more about how I put it together by following the link in the description. The tiny microcontroller broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network which you can join with any device. When you navigate to the default home page you are presented with this menu option. You can turn it completely on or off and when it's on it works quite nicely as a lamp in the corner of a room. Pressing the count button takes you to a sub menu where you can choose a number base to count in. Selecting base 2 for example shows you counting up in binary where as soon as 1 is placed under a heading you can see that there is no more room to count without carrying to the next column. And you can see what counting in other bases would look like. Here's what counting an octal looks like or base 8. And here is base 10, our conventional numbering system. If the base is low, it completes in a relatively short amount of time and you are rewarded with a rainbow display. Hexadecimal has many applications and is used as a form of shorthand, especially in computer science. For example, to indicate millions of colours with different combinations of red, green and blue values. On the colour picker page, you can select different colours and the value of red, green and blue is shown on the front of the display and the wall is backlit with that colour. With two hexadecimal digits, 00, zero is equivalent to the decimal value of 0, an absence of that colour while FF represents a decimal value of 255 or a maximum amount of that colour. With all three colours on full, six Fs are displayed and white is cast to the wall. I also programmed a colour spectrum which cycles through the colours of the rainbow. As red slowly fades, it gives way to green which then gives way to blue before repeating. This was a fun project to make and I'm enjoying playing around with this small but mighty microcontroller. I enjoy tinkering with code, electronics, cardboard, textiles and paper 
If you like this sort of thing, please consider liking this video or subscribing or checking out my other videos like my sunrise lamp, my flying geese clock, my musical quilt or even my cardboard planetarium.